What's going on everybody? Survival Islanders back again with another video. Don't forget to join our Discord and Roblox group. Link for those will be in the description. So, um, this is a video request for a lobby teleporter for a certain amount of players, like in games like the Mimic. Um, so there, they are uh, game teleporters that allow you, so if you only want like a player on their own server, like you can play a single player game, a two player game, a three player game, etc. And keep going. Um, this is uh, I'm going to be showing you how to work these and use them, and how to make your own like start off the game. So once you make your own place, um, you want to go up here to the game settings, and you're going to go down to places. You're going to create. Well, I have three of them, so you'd also want to create three of them as well. So you have your main game, and then when you create three of them, you go into each individual one. I named mine whatever, and for each individual one, you want to have that many players. So this is the want, um, the teleporter that goes to a single player. So you want to have that max player is one, two, three, So you're going to go over here to places and then you're going to uh, create three different ones. Um, here's your main and then here's your three that each one will teleport to. So as you can see, I have one player, two player, three player. That's what I named them. And then the max amount. Make sure you set each one to maximum so that way it will automatically fill to that max. So we have our three games now. When you go up, you're going to go up here if you want to get the IDs, um, Asset Manager, Places, see so your main game, that's the one I'm in, and then your th other three that you have made. I accidentally just opened one, I don't want to do that. Just close out of that, didn't want that. Okay. So, within here, if you really wanted to edit these, uh, the way to do that is you're going to see this touch gate script that I, have, that I have here. So, here's your ID. Now, how did I get that? So, over here in Asset Manager, I right-clicked. I went Copy ID. There. I hit Control v I pasted it in there. You just want to go ahead and for the total amount of players you're going to scroll all the way down here is your wait time change this to whatever you want right up above it max amount of players so i have one this is for my single player and you have up here i changed that to one make sure that this number here is to however many you have available within the billboard part all the way down to players Change the same thing here, so I need it to be a 1. And you just have to do that for the rest of these. So I changed the example of that max amount of players to 2 and 3. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to test it. A model for these three will be in the description. Um, you just have to make your own games and ID. Everything else will follow through and whatever. You um, have to put things in multiple folders. So I'll go ahead and show you how it works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to test it. Okay, so uh, I have um, the one, two, and three players. So if I want to go over here and do my, um, the single player, is going to teleport me into the space that I have created. I cannot leave it. And if I, I mean, I wanted to, I could hit the leave button. But I hit that too late. But regardless, now I'm about to teleport. So now I am here. I'm in my, um, I'm in the game that I have designed for the single player mode. And as I've said, 
if I had done it in time, I can just go ahead and leave. And I'm not teleported. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, model link for this will be in the description of this video. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, please post down in the comments below. Uh, give us a like and a sub, and we'll see you all again in our next post of videos.